Wisdom, talked about the fear of the Lord last time. It's that you're positioning yourself. Why? Because uh, uh, Paul says this, I believe it's in 1 Corinthians, he says that God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, you know, and, and, and the base things of the world to, uh, uh, to confound the mighty. In other words, uh, the way that God thinks and the way and His wisdom for your life isn't like everybody else. So, wisdom's the principal thing. How do I get it? Okay, one of the things that you do, James chapter 1, says that if any person lacks wisdom, ask God. And then it goes on to say, who gives to all liberally. Now, I want to tie this back to what I was talking about, the fear of God. The awe and the wonder of God comes out of understanding His goodness. And it comes out of understanding how much He just wants to, to, to be involved and wants to give to you. As a matter of fact, if you go down there in James 1 in verse 17, it says, Every good gift, every perfect gift is from the Father of lights. And there's no variableness and there's not even a hint, a shadow that He's going to turn or be different. He is just that good. And so that verse there says he gives to all liberally and he doesn't get on to you. He doesn't, you know, beat you up. He doesn't say, you dummy, you shouldn't have asked for me. You should know better. No, he's looking for the opportunity to be involved and to just give you that wisdom today. So pray to him, ask for it. That's life in 90.